This is the all new Kubuntu 23.10. The latest love child of Ubuntu and KDE Plasma is out and it's a phenomenal release. The latest Linux kernel, the newest of everything and the same great old experience that Kubuntu users swear by. Yeah, this is an exciting release. I find Kubuntu to be very intriguing because in God's big world of Linux distros, Kubuntu emerges as a fantastic combination of Ubuntu Solidity and KDE Plasma's elegance and efficiency. It's a dazzling star. Now it's true that Kubuntu gets vastly overshadowed by the main Ubuntu, that's just how it is. But there's a lot of merit to Kubuntu because it provides one of the best desktop Linux experiences today. I installed Kubuntu 23.10 immediately after its release and I'm blown away by the quality of computing here. The UI is outstanding, the software availability is extensive and the overall computing experience that we get here is choice quality. Really, if you haven't tried Kubuntu yet, you're missing out on one of the finest ways to use your computer. Having a good knowledge of Linux commands and being comfortable using the terminal really broadens what you can do with Linux and what kind of experience you are going to get here. So if you are interested in leveling up your Linux game, definitely check out my course Linux Mastery Express which is the fastest way to learn Linux and start using Linux like a pro. I'll teach you a set of commands that will give you the confidence to use Linux without even a graphical user interface. Then we'll dive deep and learn how to use the V editor and master shell scripting with real life examples. After teaching more than 100 students in person, I've curated this course with the top things that will level up your Linux skills the fastest. So if you're feeling like your Linux game is stuck in the same spot for too long and you're ready to take your Linux skills to the next level quickly, check out the link in the description below and get your Linux Mastery Express. We are running a massive 45% discount right now, so make use of it. Before jumping in, it's important to understand what exactly Kubuntu is. Kubuntu is an official flavor of Ubuntu that comes with the KDE Plasma desktop environment instead of GNOME. It's the same base as the main Ubuntu, but the desktop environment is switched to KDE Plasma. Kubuntu receives official support and status from Ubuntu. Kubuntu offers a traditional desktop experience that's more suited to Windows users. This is coupled with the tried and tested stability of Ubuntu. Kubuntu is created and maintained by the KDE community and is very popular with millions of users around the globe. Kubuntu 23.10 is the latest version at the moment and it's an interim release supported till July of 2024. We get KDE Plasma version 5.27 here. This is the latest version of Plasma right now. First impressions, the desktop looks stunning out of the box. Plasma is a super polished desktop that gets a lot of attention to the finer details. I mean look at how exceptional everything looks here. The transparency dynamics here, the super cool tooltips and the animation effects. These scream premium. The desktop has a traditional layout, your Windows 7 style but with jacked up looks. Right now I'm using the cinnamon desktop and I'm a huge fan of traditional style desktops like Plasma. The entire design is very intuitive and familiar to most people. You can take one look at this desktop and you'll just know how to get around the system. You have the menu here which houses all your apps nicely organized into categories and we have a system search here. This search lets you find apps and files quickly. The thing about this menu compared to GNOME's menu is that when you press the Windows or the Super button, your running windows don't go flying around. You don't lose context of what you're doing. You can open the menu and search for stuff without distraction breaking the chain of your workflow. That's why traditional desktop layouts are better for productivity. Then the bottom panel here has all your favorites and running apps. Again, you can switch between apps directly here. On GNOME, switching between apps is very different. This is simply simpler. Then you have your tray and controls like volume and connections here. Lastly, this button minimizes all your running apps and then brings them back if clicked once more. This is the entirety of how to get on the Plasma desktop. Of course, I'm just stating what is obvious to everybody. Talking about the looks, everything looks very clean here. The applications look neat and the theming makes all the applications look very professional. KDE Plasma is just flawless. Ever since KDE Plasma 5 came out, it's been on the top of its game. I remember how Plasma 4 looked. This was a huge jump up in its evolution. KDE Plasma is also extremely customizable. No other desktop provides this kind of deep control. You can do anything and tweak anything you want here, as long as you are ready to get your hands dirty. Just look at how deep the settings can go here. Kubuntu brings us one of the best desktop options on top of one of the best Linux distros. This looks stunning, feels great to use and the whole thing is so intuitive. Top points. Kubuntu comes tuned for a fantastic performance delivery across a range of hardware. Firstly, 
Ubuntu tweaks up the kernel to deliver a butter smooth performance in a balanced manner. On top of that, KDE Plasma is one of the most efficient desktops we have. Plasma is so efficient with RAM usage and CPU cycles, it's almost comparable to that of XFCE. But just look how different XFCE and Plasma are. Really, it's ingenious what KDE Plasma does. On idle, the resource usage is very low here. At the same time, the system is very responsive. App opening, switching between apps, it's all very smooth here. In fact, it's one of the smoothest. Heavier tasks like gaming, rendering and compiling will largely depend on your hardware, but Kubuntu is tuned to juice every ounce of performance from your hardware. That level of optimization is built into it. Alright, I'm gonna give you an insane performance hack for Kubuntu 23.10. You can immediately boost up your system performance by pressing Alt plus Shift plus F12. Try this when you are gaming and it'll boost up your FPS by almost 10%. What pressing Alt plus Shift plus F12 does is, it disables the desktop compositor. The trade-off is, it'll disable the transparency and shadow effects in Plasma Desktop. But the performance gains can be insane on some computers. To turn on compositor again, press the same hotkeys, Alt plus Shift plus F12. Yeah, you're welcome. Kubuntu 23.10 is an interim release, meaning it will be supported for the next 9 months. It has released in October 2023 and will receive updates till July 2024. After that, you will get a simple upgrade option to jump to the next version. Interim releases of Ubuntu may not be as stable as Ubuntu long term support versions, but these are way more contemporary. They are built using the latest technologies and they have the latest packages which bring us new features. At the same time, interim releases are production quality. That is, they undergo extensive testing and are deemed fit to be used pretty much everywhere. While I wouldn't use these in my servers, I absolutely love to use these in my desktops. Interim releases are very exciting to use as Ubuntu developers try out new things in these releases. Many new technologies, alternate software, first debut in interim releases before they ship in LTS versions. This makes interim releases of Ubuntu very exciting. You are getting a taste of what's to come tomorrow but in a reliable manner. I love this. In fact, interim releases are great for enthusiasts who want an exciting system and at the same time got to do some serious work on their computers. Kubuntu 23.10 is one such interim release. Pinch of excitement combined with the trust of Ubuntu. Talking about the usability, Kubuntu is extremely easy to use and get around. The installation is easy, getting additional software here is easy and getting on the system too is very easy. One thing though, Kubuntu or KDE Plasma to be more accurate gives the users full control over the system. When I say full control, I mean absolutely full control over anything and everything imaginable. At times, this can cause choice paralysis, especially for someone who's new to this system. I mean look at how deeply you can customize the settings. Compare this to GNOME settings and GNOME starts looking like a toy. Plasma developers have taken steps to counter this though. Advanced settings regarding everything are now kept a layer deeper. And the trick is not to get overwhelmed here and take things one step at a time. But apart from this one thing, Kubuntu is golden in the usability department. Kubuntu is Ubuntu and as such has one of the best software availabilities of all the Linux distros. The Ubuntu family, as the most popular of all, enjoys a phenomenal software availability. So I'll be using the words Ubuntu and Kubuntu interchangeably in this section. Be mindful of that. Kubuntu is Ubuntu. Firstly, Ubuntu has huge software repositories and pretty much anything you want can be installed here directly from the software store. I'm talking browsers, office tools, programming stuff, games and anything else you want. Everything is available in full native .dev packages here. Additionally, Ubuntu Snap packages are available here in Kubuntu. Snaps have revolutionized the software scene on Ubuntu. While many people are going to tell you to hate snaps, which you can absolutely ignore, yeah, snaps have few bad traits but the advantages vastly outweigh these traits. Many top software vendors like Google, Microsoft, JetBrains, Mozilla, KDE and many more are officially bringing their software through Snaps and many of them have brought their software to desktop Linux only because of Snaps. I myself had been a long time hater of Snap but once I embraced them, the quality of my desktop experience shot up. You can use these Snaps to install thousands of amazing software. Many of these software are available only as Snaps. And if you don't want Snaps, you can install software from Ubuntu software repositories. Whatever the case, you are going to enjoy a top quality software availability on Kubuntu 23.10. Anything and everything you want will be available here for a quick and convenient installation. Gaming on Kubuntu is a phenomenal experience. Steam is pretty much a gaming essential on Linux today. 
Steam has a large library of Linux native games. Titles like Counter-Strike, Tomb Raider series, Dota 2, Team Fortress 2 and many more are available natively on Linux. And with Steam's Steam Play feature, you can play thousands of Windows games on Linux. That too without any wine or play on Linux hassle. Games like GTA 5, Cyberpunk 2077, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, install and play like they are Linux native games. Click on install, then click on play. It's amazing how well it all works. This one thing has revolutionized gaming on Linux. If you have your own game disk or files, you can use this application called Bottles. Bottles lets you install Windows games and applications with optimized prefixes of Wine, Proton and Soda. So it becomes very easy to install and run Windows applications and games here. Apart from that, you'll find thousands of absolutely free games on the software store here. Titles like Zero AD, Xonotic, Hedgewars, Super Tux Cart and a lot more are available for direct installation. Now these can be months of fun. Overall, gaming on the new Kubuntu is just fantastic. As I said earlier, Kubuntu is Ubuntu and being the most popular Linux distro has its advantages. Huge advantages. Ubuntu has a huge pool of community written help material online. Troubleshooting guides, how to articles and help in general is way easy to find online. Ask Ubuntu forums are hugely beneficial. Having these makes it really easy to use Kubuntu, especially if you are new to Linux. And most guides written on Ubuntu will be applicable to Kubuntu as well. Most issues you might face will have solution guides already written for you. One Google search and you'll get them. And if you have questions which are not already answered, you'll find the community members very helpful. And most Kubuntu specific issues are also already solved for you online. Having these makes your life easier. If you face any issues or just need to know how to do something, using the most popular Linux distro becomes really advantageous. Installing Kubuntu is a very simple affair. The whole thing is kept very simple so that even people who are new to the Linux scene can install and use this fantastic system very easily. Firstly, you download the ISO file from the link given in the description below. Then you flash it onto a USB stick and live boot into it. Launch the installer. All the steps here are represented in a very beginner friendly way and all the options are represented in an easy to digest manner. It even installs proprietary NVIDIA drivers if you choose the install third party option. The whole thing takes around 15-20 minutes. The whole fiasco of installing and getting started with Kubuntu is extremely easy. Kubuntu has a very special place in the desktop Linux ecosystem. It is a quiet place as all the thunder gets stolen by the main orange Ubuntu. Kubuntu still has a very large user base. It comes out as the perfect system for people who want the advantages of Ubuntu, the reliability, the amazing software library and that experience of using a very polished product but don't want the default user interface of Ubuntu. Kubuntu provides a very attractive alternative for these people. And KD Plasma itself has a tremendous fan base. People come to Kubuntu for Plasma as well. Kubuntu is one of the finest distros offering KD Plasma. That coupling of Ubuntu and Plasma really comes together to provide one of the most polished desktop experiences. Kubuntu is for people who want to get some work done, do some coding on it, get some office work done and even for students, this system is going to be highly recommended. Kubuntu is a very balanced system that makes a lot of sense for a lot of people. It just ticks many boxes. Definitely give this one a try. The download link is given in the description below. Alright, if you enjoyed this deep dive with Kubuntu 23.10, Definitely consider subscribing to the channel and leave me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Next up, check out this fantastic distro called NixOS. It's unlike anything you have seen it, so absolutely don't miss that. Alright, this is the next text, signing out.